Yo, what's up everybody? My name is LL and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to stake your Matic tokens or now renamed as Polygon. And as of right now, you can only do this on Ethereum mainnet. So if you have Polygon slash Matic on the Matic sidechain, you have to migrate it over back to Ethereum. And that's what we're going to be showing you in this video. A faster option may be just a buying Matic on the Ethereum side on an exchange and then move it there to your MetaMask or other wallet basically to do it. It might be faster and less expensive to do that that way. And I'm going to leave you a couple of exchanges down below where you can acquire Polygon and some of them obviously support the mainnet and some don't. So make sure you're going to be researching that before you're going to be making that actual withdrawal. But uh, let's get started. So the first thing you obviously need is a MetaMask. Then you need to add the Matic mainnet here uh, in case you're going to be transferring Matic from Matic's mainnet. Obviously, you've probably done that already. But um, in case you don't know the details, you can go into chainlist.org and just find Matic mainnet. Click connect wallet and it would automatically just add this extra chain to you. And you can find it here uh, from the drop bar where you can find all the things Matic Phantom, which I've added personally here. And obviously, Ethereum mainnet main is there by default. After you've done this, we're going to be going into the actual staking platform. And there's three ways to log in. Uh, MetaMask, Wallet Connect, like Trust Wallet. And then we have Coinbase's own wallet uh, system called Wallet Link. We're going to be using MetaMask. We're going to be having a confirmation here, how it's done. And after we click yes, uh, basically we are locked in now on the Polygon mainnet. After you have logged in, you will be on the actual wallet page here. It will say wallet version 2. Here you can see Matic token on the actual Matic sidechain. And here's the button where you can move the funds from Ethereum to Polygon. But this also works vice versa. However, there is the key problem here, which is if you're going to be moving Matic from the Matic's own chain into Ethereum and then clicking transfer, it is going through Plasma Bridge and Plasma Bridge will take seven days to basically go through. And that is a very long time in terms of um, staking rewards, uh, in terms of the actual fees, which are also imposed on you. So I don't recommend using this. I have done a test transaction here. Um, which I shouldn't probably have done. So better way is to just buy Matic on Binance or other exchange and move it directly into Ethereum. There are also other swapping sites with bridges which you can kind of trick around with by like just um, moving the Matic into let's say uh, USDC and then switch that USD, USDC to Polygon. It will use a different bridge which will be faster, okay? But let's kind of jump into the actual, back into the platform. And then we have to choose, well, we can actually log out just for um, the sake of testing. So we're going to be going back into the Ethereum mainnet now. And i um, going to be going MetaMask once again, logging in. So I bought some um, Matic from Uniswap basically uh, with Ethereum. And basically now I want to actually stake. And here you can find the apps tab. You click staking, takes you into staking here. And what you wanna be wanna be doing is basically choosing uh, one of these uh, platforms here. I recommend obviously one that has 1% or 0%. Um, here we have the Abyss 0% until 2020. That's pretty good. So I'm gonna be choosing this one. I'm going to be clicking delegate and here I have 160 Matic and we're going to be putting max amount. I'm going to be staking everything here. Here it says estimated transaction fee and let's see if that is close to the reality. A bit higher than that. Obviously this always shows a bit higher number than uh, the transaction. Uh, then obviously this transaction will take place on Ethereum where we have to wait for that and then the delegation obviously happens. A uh, bit of a key details about this staking thing. So let's get back into the staking page. Uh, a couple of in, uh, important information. Uh, there's a reward calculator where you can see how much you're going to be making. So we put 140 Matic here. And let's say I'm going to be just putting it for 30 days. Um, and projected Matic tokens. 
staked, not a lot of rewards. So maybe I want to put 60 days there or maybe 90 days or something between those lines. Um, even still, it's not the most amazing rewards. And here you can see the rewards frequency, your network share. Um, if you had more Matic, obviously, that that would increase uh, with your network share. And also, you need two Matic. Two Matic is needed uh, before you can claim. So it needs two Matic before you can claim. And there's obviously Ethereum gas fee. So what I'm doing here in this video is probably going to be losing me money un unless... Uh, Manix price is going to be going exponentially. Remember, there's the approval and then there's the delegation fee. These are going to be totaling 20 bucks. And after this transaction goes through, well, it, okay, it has apparently gone through. Um, now, uh, it's going to be taking one to two minutes to basically reflect on your account. So, the key takeaways here are as follows. You need to have enough Matic and for a period of time to make it worthwhile, your investment. Obviously, because it's on Ethereum side, it might cost 300 bucks to unstake that Matic if the GUI goes high enough. So that's a bit of a trap and kind of the design flaw here on Polygon because if it was on the mainnet, then, well, it would be such more, much more suitable. Obviously, you can also find in certain exchanges where you can stake your Matic on their platform, which might be also a lot more easier and more cost-efficient option for you, but doesn't really help on the decentralization aspects. But let's uh, try to refresh here, see if the Matic is... Uh, gone through. Let's uh, go back here and see if we can find the um, transaction that took place just a minute ago. And also, I recommend looking through all the delegates, which ones have the best percentages. Some that are giving 0% might be bad in the service otherwise. So that's something you'll want to look into. Some may offer different types of tokens, uh, things like these. So let's actually go into my address here again and see the confirmation here the matic token has basically gone into the staking pool 160 tokens i actually put 140 on the calculator so a bit different number there and um there we can find my account here you can find all validators also can be found you can become your own valid validator i think it requires a lot of money uh setting up nodes and things like these so it might be kind of expensive um but yeah, let's wait for a second till the balance is going to be showing up. Okay, so now literally like after five seconds that I cut it off, now I can see my delegation, one validator and the unclaimed rewards and the commission, the reward. You can restake the rewards if you want to. We can stake more into, you don't have to go. Uh, staking more is gonna, not going to be asking you the confirmation for two times. So at least there's going to be a bit less fees when you're going to be staking more Matic into the actual pool and here you can see basically the matic on which is staked the one that is remaining on your ethereum wallet and you can also delegate to many many multiple people so if you feel like i want to decentralize my funds a bit more i'm going to give it to this one and this delegator you can also do that you're not limited to a one uh validator basically you you can delegate to multiple people but thanks for watching i will be seeing you guys on the next video whenever it may be until then, see you soon. Make sure to support me by liking, subscribing. You can also send some donations in Matic if you found this video useful. Cheers.